just giving no time to breathe This is our identity channel we're just not going to talk about how long it's been since i posted a video because yeah and just a disclaimer if you hear like thunder in the background it's not thunder it's bombs i'll explain all of that in a minute all right so i my hair is crazy and i feel like i'm going to be touching it a lot and i apologize for that in advance anyways so today's video i'm going to be talking about how I moved from Ohio to San Clemente, California. Yeah. So let's just get into it. So first off, um, my my parents had decided to move to California like two or three years ago. I was in middle school at the time, and I was all for the idea because I hated middle school. I hated the drama, all the girls, blah blah blah. So I was very excited. However. It took us a long time to find the right house. It actually took three years. So here I am going into junior year of high school, starting at a brand new school, a brand new state, pretty much a new world. But yeah, so there's a couple reasons my parents decided to move. My dad grew up here. He grew up in Laverne, which is north of where we are now. And also my brother's stationed in the Marines here. He's currently at Camp Pendleton which is the, what the bomb sounds are. So that's why we kind of decided to move here. Also, the weather, obviously. It's low 70s all year round, which is really nice. And you can see the ocean. But yeah, it was really hard for me because I have a boyfriend, and we've almost been dating for a year, about, it's been about eight and a half months. But it's been really hard. I, we're gonna try to make it work. Obviously, 2,000 miles is a big distance. But distance makes the heart grow fonder, as my mom would say. So yeah, that's kind of just a background of it. Well, we actually, so we finished up the school year in uh, Columbus. And then, we, so we moved out of our old house um, around February. They put the house up for sale February 25th, two days after my birthday. And it sold two weeks later. So that was really nice. And so we sold the house. We moved everything out of it very quickly. We had already found this house at that point. We were just working with the banks and everything, and it took close to six months to get everything figured out, which is why it took us so long to get out here, I think. But also they wanted to wait for me and my younger sister to get out of school. We packed up all our stuff from the house into pods. We ended up having three pods full of stuff, and let me tell you, moving is my least favorite thing in the world. It is like exercising, but not fun, and it's like emotional, and it's just horrible so and you have to unpack the pods after you pack them that's great but we had all the pods we had them shipped out and we packed up all our clothes and everyday stuff into our cars and we took three cars and road tripped it across the country now I was lucky enough to take my boyfriend with me because we basically wanted to spend all summer together and uh, it was one of the funnest times ever that we've had and we made lots of memories and it was really fun we road tripped it, we left about June 15th, and we got here, I think June 19th. Yeah, it was a long road trip, and we got to see a lot of different things together. And then as soon as we got here, we literally had nothing, like none of our beds were here, we didn't have towels even. So we literally had nothing, we were just camping, as my mom liked to say. And we slept in sleeping bags and my parents' bedroom, all seven of us. Yeah, that was fun. And then eventually we got all our stuff and we unpacked the pods and then 
my sister was getting married. We got here June 19th, we stayed for about 10 days, and then we went on a flight to Vegas, where my sister was getting married on July 1st. So we didn't have a lot of time to unpack or like settle in, we just kind of did what we could, and then we packed up for Vegas and we left. My sister got married July 1st in Vegas in 110 degree weather. It was so hot, but it was a lot of fun and it was a beautiful wedding. And she got married to a great guy and I'm really glad that he's a part of our family. They've been dating for about, or they were dating for about six years. Yeah, so they were high school sweethearts and it was just a great time and it was a lot of fun. She got married in Vegas and then we came back to California. My boyfriend's been with me this whole time, keep in mind, so we got to go on a road trip and then we went to Vegas together for my sister's wedding and it was really fun. And then we came back and we just kind of hung out and did lots of stuff. So we unpacked, I got all settled in, my room's pretty much done. So I'm gonna do like a room tour and maybe a house tour, I don't know, because it's really messy and there's a lot of boxes everywhere. I'll definitely do a room tour though. We came back from Vegas. And, yeah, we kind of just did summer things, like I got a library card and I got a driver's license. All my school stuff set up. So yeah, that was fun. And we went to the beach, I think, once or twice. It's funny because we, li we moved here for the beach, but we've only gone like once or twice. Um, we mostly just like go in our pool and hot tub because we've never had a pool or hot tub, so it's really nice. We kind of just, I don't know, we went around to different like shops and restaurants and uh, kind of just drove around a little bit and had lots of fun and just kind of explored the area. It was nice to have him here and uh, we had a lot of fun. So yeah, we spent 4th of July here together. Oh my gosh, 4th of July was amazing. There was, you could, so we're basically up on a mountain and you can see the different towns below you. There's San Clemente, Dana Point, Laguna Niguel. These are all different little towns here. So we could see literally like eight different firework shows. It was so cool and it was amazing, like nothing I've ever seen. And we had the perfect view from our house. Like it was just spectacular. So that was really nice. And yeah, so then I went back to Ohio for my sister's wedding reception where she had all the family over and everything. And that was really nice also. It was lots of fun. And um, I also hung out with some of my friends. And then me and my boyfriend went to North Carolina to Ocean Isle and we spent a week there. And uh, that was kind of our last time that we got to hang out with each other and see each other and it was nice to just be with his family for a little bit and spend some time with them because I love them and they're great. We did boogie boarding and putt putt and um, crab hunted at night. It was really cool because these like little crabs they would go and they'd like bury themselves in the sand so you wouldn't see them and they'd run away and go and eat the fish and like you'd see a, a crab eating a fish and be like like it was so funny it was like oh my gosh it's such a cute little crab but it's like they're, they mean business, like, we tried, we picked one up of the flip-flop and it literally, like, its little claw stabbed through the flip-flop and, like, there's, like, a puncture hole there now where the crab was, like, latched on. And we went to Myrtle Beach for a day and we just walked around and went to the different shops and stuff. Yeah, and then it was time for me to go and it was very sad and emotional because I had to leave my boy for uh, at least two months. But we got flights now, so we're gonna see each other like September 1st, which is way better. It's like three weeks from now, which is better than two months, in my opinion. <sighs> yeah, so I'm really excited for him to come back, and I can't wait to see him. And so now I'm here in California alone, and I got all my school stuff set up. So I think it was like two days ago, I went to my registration, and I got all my books. Let me tell you, it's a lot of books. I have three AP Psych books alone. That's just one subject. I have three books. They're like thick too. I'm taking a bunch of advanced classes because I'm getting ready for college and that's very scary to talk about, but yeah, I'm trying to get myself in the best position possible to go to a nice school that is affordable and can offer me what I want. I signed up for classes and I got my school ID. My mascot is the Tritons and my school colors are black and red, which is a big change from blue and gold, which is what I was before. But yeah, hang on, let me show you my school ID. This 
is my school ID. You're not gonna be able to see. That's me. Emma Bischoff. Right. And then here is if I can get it out. Here is my driver's license. It's a lot different. I think I have my old one actually. So this is the Ohio one and this is the California one. I'm obviously a lot tanner in this one. And this one's like a blue background, which is not very flattering in my opinion. I also look very shiny because it's hot here. But some of the things I'm most scared for are school, obviously. I ha I'm very introverted when it comes to like real life and not just like recording myself. Well, like I like making new friends, but it's really hard for me because I don't like to put myself out there or talk to people I don't know or I'm gonna be a junior which is pretty much like I'm almost done and people have already like figured out who their friends are and I just feel like I'm just I'm gonna be invisible for two years and just but yeah I hope it goes well I hope I make some good memories along the way it's just very nerve-wracking but it's exciting because you get like a fresh start and I just had so much like past in drama at my old school I feel like it's just nice to be new and nobody knows you nobody knows like all the mistakes you made and because uh, you just get a fresh start but the house is beautiful the place is beautiful and I get to be with my family a lot which is nice because we're getting closer but I've met my neighbors they're all really nice the, the cool thing is that the people across from us he's actually the pitching coach for the angels and then, like, a couple houses down is the owner of Bear Paints, like, B-E-H-R, Bear. The houses are really cool here, and so, yeah, and so are the people. So that's basically it about me moving to California. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment down below what you thought, and subscribe to see my next video. I love you all, and have a great day or night, wherever you are. Bye!